Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a 30 minute power Pilates workout using a set of light hand weights. So when you're ready to get started, roll out your mat and let's begin. Let's start by placing our weights to the side. Just pop them in the center of your mat so that you can grab them easily later. And then come onto your glutes with your knees bent and your feet hip distance apart. Hold on to the back of your thighs. Inhale, arch your spine, look up. Then exhale, round your spine and gaze towards your navel. And again, inhale, roll your spine up, open through your heart. Exhale as you round back, dropping your chin down to your chest. Keep going. Inhale, really open through your heart. And as you exhale, drop your ribs down to your hips. One more, nice big inhale. And this time as you exhale, roll yourself vertebra by vertebra down onto your back. Shuffle your heels in towards your glutes. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart in parallel. Then on your exhale, tuck your hips under, roll your hips up, inhale at the top, and exhale, roll your hips back down vertebra by vertebra. Inhale to prepare. Exhale as you roll your hips up. Really squeeze your glutes at the top as you inhale. Then exhale, roll them back down. Keep going warming up our spine here and waking up our glutes just one more really press down through your heels as you lift your hips well done grab a hold of one weight now in your left hand and lift your legs to a tabletop position take your right hand behind your head to support your neck and then reach your left arm up to the sky with your palm facing inwards. On your exhale, curl your head and shoulders up, reach the weight by your hip, and inhale, lower down. So exhale, curl up, and inhale, lower. Two more like this, and then we'll add an extension with our right leg. Last one, exhale, curl inhale lower okay this time as you curl up extend your right leg then inhale bring it back in exhale curl extend your right leg inhale lower just four more like this focus on that rib to hip connection as you curl your head and shoulders up activating your abs on this next one, hold your curl and let's take baby curls for 10, 9, 8, 7, keep reaching through your left arm, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold here, pass the weight to your other hand behind your knee and then switch your legs. You switch and switch, just 7 more, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Well done, rest your head, hug your knees in just for a moment, and then we'll take it to the other side. So take your legs into tabletop, reach your right arm up to the sky with your palm in, and take your left hand behind your head. On your exhale, curl up, reach your weight by your hip, then inhale, lower. Exhale, curl, inhale, lower. Two more, then we'll extend our left leg. Last one. Here we go. As you curl up, extend your left leg, then lower back down. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lower. Four more. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lower. Two more. And on this last one, hold your curl and let's take 10 pulses. You lift and lift. Eight more. Seven, really breathe. Exhale and exhale. 
four more. Three, two, and one. Hold your curl. Let's pass the weight behind our knee and switch and switch. Eight more. Seven, curl up a little higher. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Rest your head down, hug your knees in. And then place your feet back down on the floor, grab a hold of your other weight, and make sure your feet are hip distance apart in parallel. Reach your arms up to the sky with your palms facing forward, and then lift your hips up into your bridge. On your inhale, lower your hips, bend your elbows wide, then exhale, lift your hips and press your arms up. So inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift, as you bend your elbows, and press seven more really press down through your heels squeezing your glutes at the top three more nice bend of your elbows last one now hold your hips high really squeeze your glutes and let's just do the arms. You bend your elbows and press. Inhale, bend, exhale, press. Eight more. And seven. Keep lifting your hips nice and high. Five more. Four. Three more, then we'll hold our elbows halfway. Two. And last one. Now hold your elbows bent halfway and let's pulse our arms and our hips up and up. Just eight more. Seven, you've got it. Breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press all the way up, squeeze your glutes, and then roll your hips back down. Walk your feet out mat distance apart now with your toes turned out and then turn your palms in. Lift your hips up, squeeze your glutes and this time lower your hips, open your arms wide, then lift your hips and close your arms in. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. Eight more. Keep your shoulders drawing down and back and really squeeze your chest muscles together as you close your arms in. Let's do three more. Two. And last one. Hold your hips high and let's just move our arms. You open your arms and close. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Keeping a soft bend through your elbows as you open your arms wide and then really squeeze your chest muscles together as you close your arms. Four more. Keep squeezing your glutes. Three. Two more. And last one. Hold your arms up to the sky and pulse your hips. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven. Press through your heels. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Roll your hips all the way down. Let's roll on to the left side of our body now. Apologies that I'm not mirroring you for this one. And then bend your knees and lift your feet up, getting ready for your clam position. Really lift up through the underside of your waist so there's a pocket of air between your waistline and the mat. Then grab a hold of the weight, bend your elbow in by your waistline with your palm facing down. On your exhale, open your knee and your arm out, then inhale, close them down. Exhale, open, inhale, close. Three more. Making sure that top hip stays nice and still. You're just opening your knee out wide. Last one. 
good job. Now let's add a double pulse. So you open out and out, then close. Nice exhale and exhale. Inhale, close. Three more. Keeping your elbow in by your waistline. And last one. Well done. Hold your arm and your knee open. Let's just tap our knees together and then our toes. Inhale, tap your knees. Exhale, tap your toes. Eight more. Keeping your arms still for this one. We're just moving our right leg. Four more, you can do it. Three, two more, then we'll hold our toes together. And last one, hold your toes together, your knees apart, reach your right arm up and then pull your elbow down. Exhale, press, inhale, bend. Eight more. And seven, keep your knees out nice and wide. Five more, four, Make sure your right hip is staying stacked on top of your left. Two more. And last one. Hold your arm up, flex your feet, squeeze your heels and pulse your knee back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Lower your bottom knee, extend your right leg straight and then flip your right palm forward towards your toes. Inhale, lower your leg, then exhale, lift your leg and lower your arm down. So inhale as you lower your leg, exhale as you lift, as you lift your arm up and down. Keep going. Make sure that you're still lifting up through the underside of your waist, keeping your core engaged. Only three more, two, and last one. Hold your leg lifted with your arm down and flex your foot. Inhale, bend your elbow, pull your knee in, then exhale, extend your arm and your leg. So your arm and leg bend and extend at the same time. Seven more, inhale, bend, Exhale, extend. You've got it. Keep your right knee nice and lifted at hip height, really feeling a burn through that right glute. Two more. And last one. Let's hold everything out and take 10 lifts. Let's go, you lift and lift, so arm and leg moving at the same time. Seven more, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Beautiful job, rest your arm and your leg down, and then pop yourself up. Put your weight to the side just for a moment, cross your legs and come into a plank position. For our plank exercise today, I want you to bring your heels together and your toes turned out in a froggy position. Really tuck your hips under and squeeze your glutes. On your inhale, bend your knees, press back. Then exhale, shoot forward to plank, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, press back. Exhale, shoot forward. Three more. Two more, then we'll add a double press back. Last one. Here we go. Inhale, pulse back two times. Pulse, pulse. Then exhale, shoot forward. Inhale, pulse, pulse. Exhale, shoot forward. Squeezing your glutes as you come into your plank. Just two more. And last one. Well done. Bring your feet into parallel, bend your knees and walk your hands back towards your feet. Then roll your spine up vertebra by vertebra up to standing. Let's burn out our right glute a little bit more. So walk to the front of your mat, grab a hold of your weights. 
With your right foot forward and your left foot back, draw your navel in and place the weights in front of your chest. Inhale, lunge down. Exhale, press up. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, press. Keeping your spine nice and straight, you're really using the strength of your legs here. You've got it, four more. And three, two more. And on this next one, hold a low in your lunge. Keeping your right knee bent, hinge forward, straighten your back leg, and then re-bend your left knee and lift your chest. So you hinge forward and then lift your chest, returning to your lunge. Taking nice deep breaths here, inhale, hinge, exhale, lunge. You should really feel a nice burn through that right glute. I want you to embrace it. So keep bending into that right knee. Just two more, then we'll hold in that hinge. Last one, hold in your hinge, release your arms down with your palms facing forward, bend your elbows and extend. Bend and extend. Nice bicep curls here. Two more, then we'll scooter our back leg. Here we go. Let's tap our left foot in and back, tap in and back. So everything bends and everything extends at the same time. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Rebend your back knee, lift your chest, reach your arms up, 10 pulses down and down. Really lengthen through the side of your waist. Six more, five, four, three, two and one good job step your feet forward and take high knees for me you lift and lift as you pull your elbows down and down let's do 10 more nine eight seven keep your energy levels up you've got it four more three two and one, Woo. release your arms down. And let's now come back down onto our mat and get ready for the other side. So come down onto the right side of your body now, grab a hold of one weight, rest your head on your arm, bend your knees, and then lift your feet up for that clam position. Make sure that you are lifting up through the underside of your waist, really engaging your abs. Bend your elbow in by your waistline with your palm facing down. As you exhale, open your arm, open your knee, inhale, close. Exhale, open, inhale, close. Three more, then we'll add that double pulse. Two more. Last one. Here we go, double pulse. You exhale, open, open, inhale, close. Exhale, open, open, inhale, close. Just three more. Really open that knee out nice and wide. One more, then we'll take my favorite knees and toes. Here we go, open your arm and your knee out. Inhale, tap your knees together. Exhale, tap your toes. Inhale, tap your knees. Exhale, tap your toes. Eight more. Keeping your left arm nice and still. You're just working your leg. Really nice job. Keep breathing. Just three more. Then we'll hold our toes together. Two. And last one. Hold your toes together. Exhale, reach your arm up. Inhale, pull it down. Exhale, reach. Inhale, pull. Eight more. And seven. Keep pressing that left knee back for me. You can do it. Four more. Three. Two. And last one, hold your arm up, flex your feet, squeeze your heels and pulse your knee out 
and out. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your bottom knee, extend your left leg long, and let's flip our palm towards our toes. Inhale, lower your leg, then exhale, lift your leg and lower your arm. So inhale as you tap your toes down, exhale as you lift, as you lift your arm and then lower it down to meet your leg. Only four more, then we'll get ready to bend and extend our arm and our leg. Two more. And last one, hold everything lifted, flex your foot, inhale, bend your arm, bend your knee, exhale, extend. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Eight more. Really pulling your left knee forward in line with your hip, keeping it nice and lifted so you feel that burn through your left glute. You're doing really well. Just three more. Two. And last one, hold everything extended. Final pulses. Let's go for 10, nine. Nice, exhale and exhale. Six more, five, four, little higher, three, two, and one. So good, rest your arm and your leg down, pop your weights to the side, press yourself up and let's return to our plank. We're going to repeat that same froggy press plank exercise. So come into your plank, bring your heels together and your toes apart and really squeeze your glutes. Inhale, press back, exhale, shoot forward. Inhale, press, exhale, shoot forward. Three more, really squeezing your glutes as you come into your plank. One more, then we'll take that double pulse. Here we go, let's press back. You pulse and pulse, then shoot forward. Inhale, pulse and pulse. Exhale, shoot forward. Three more. Remember, really squeeze your glutes as you shift forward into plank. Last one. Well done. Bring your feet hip distance apart. Walk your hands back to your feet and carefully roll your spine up. Now it's time to burn out our left glute. So come to the front of your mat, grab a hold of your weights again, and let's prepare for our lunge. So left foot forward, right foot back, draw your navel in and hold the weights in front of your chest. Inhale, lunge down, exhale, press up. Inhale, lunge, exhale, press. Eight more, keeping your hips stacked underneath your shoulders and your spine nice and straight. We're just using the power of our legs here. Make sure your left knee is stacked over your left toes. Let's do two more. And last one, hold low in your lunge. Let's hinge forward, straightening our back leg, then re-bend your back leg, lift your chest. So you hinge forward, then lunge. Hinge forward and lunge. You've got it, keeping that left knee super bent so that you really get into that left glute. Keep drawing your navel in, keeping your spine super straight. You are so strong, let's do two more. And last one, let's hold in our hinge. This time, release your arms down, pull your elbows back, and let's extend our arms back and bend. So tricep extension here. Three more before we add our right leg. Two. Last one, here we go. Tap your right foot in and out. Tap in and out. Keep going with those arms, you've got it. Six more, 
and five keep bending into your left knee three more two you're so strong last one bend your back knee lift your chest reach your arms up ten pulses down and down eight more seven six five four high knees coming up in two and one step your foot forward high knees let's go you pull and pull nice exhale and exhale you are doing so well class is almost over so just stay with me you have eight more seven keep your energy levels up for me four more three two and one excellent job step your feet out mat distance apart with your toes turned out and return the weights in front of your chest inhale squat down exhale press up inhale squat exhale press really shifting your weight back into your heels making sure that your knees are tracking over your toes last one now let's add a double pulse you pulse down and down press up inhale as you pulse down two times exhale as you press up three more then we'll add to this two last one now let's add a press at the top so inhale pulse down two times exhale press your arms up to the sky inhale pulse down exhale press up you've got it okay last one hold in your squat let's finish with pulses for ten and nine really press through your heels squeeze your glutes six more five four three two and one place your weights to the floor and step back into a plank position for your final exercise on your inhale pike your hips up exhale lower then pull your knees across your chest two times and then let's pike our hips again up and down this time take four knees across four three two and one pike your hips get ready to pull your knees six times across let's go six and five nice exhale each time that you pull two more last one pike your hips and lower eight knees here we go you pull and pull six five keeping it nice and slow three two and one last one inhale pike exhale lower you know it ten knees ten nine eight seven six more then we're just gonna hold in our plank four three two and one let's go hold in your plank press through your shoulders draw up through your navel you are so strong we finish here just 10 more seconds nine eight seven six five four three two and one lower your knees untuck your toes and press back into a well-deserved child's pose flip your palms up to the sky to release any tension through your shoulders and take a big sigh of relief then carefully roll your spine up to seated bring your hands to prayer and just take a few rolls of your wrists just to release any tension in our wrists then reverse your circles taking them the other direction beautiful reach your left arm up and back reaching for your left shoulder blade and then wrap your right arm behind your back and reach up towards your left fingertips don't worry if you can't grab your fingertips you can just hold on to your top and just take deep breaths focusing on opening through your heart 
feeling a beautiful stretch for your shoulders. Then carefully release your arms, switch sides, reach your right arm up and back, and then your left arm behind your back, reaching up for your fingertips. Really draw your shoulder blades down and back as you open through your heart, feeling a beautiful stretch. Then carefully release your arms and let's draw our legs in front of us. Extend your right leg straight, bend your left knee open, inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, fold over your right leg. Taking long, deep breaths here, feeling a nice release through the back of your right leg and through your left hip. Then roll yourself up, cross your left foot over your right thigh, bend your right knee in and lift your chest to feel a stretch through your left glute. We did a lot of glute work today, so this should feel really nice. Then drop your left foot over to the right, sit up nice and tall, inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, twist over to the left. Carefully unwind and let's switch legs. Extend your left leg straight, open your right knee out. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, fold forward. Keeping both sitting bones rooted down to the floor and keeping your spine as straight as you can. Then carefully roll up, cross your right foot over your left thigh, bend your left knee in and really lift through your chest so you feel a nice stretch for your right glute. Then drop your right foot over to the left, coming into your seated position. Inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, twist over to the right. Then carefully unwind and let's come into a comfortable cross-legged position to finish class. Sitting up nice and tall, let's take one last big inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, lower your hands down at your heart. Thank you so much everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's Power Pilates class. If you would like to see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again and have the most beautiful day.